Good. Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the binding of the Vortex 250 and also the wizard setup. So I have the Fat Shark Dominator V2s here with the micro SD card. So I'll show you exactly what goes on on the screen with setting up the wizard. Quadcopter here with the props removed. Please guys, anytime you work on a quadcopter inside, make sure the props are off. Even if you know what you're doing, if you arm it and accidentally bump the throttle inside, you'll have potentially a huge problem on your hands. So please make sure those props are removed. The other thing is before you power on the Vortex 250, make sure you put on the video transmitter antenna. If you power it up without this antenna attached, you can damage the video transmitter. So this is how you want it. Props off, video transmitter antenna attached. I have the DX18 here with the Vortex 250 set up, ready to go. So let's first off go ahead and bind it. Now when you first get the quad out of the box, it's automatically going to run the wizard the first time, but there are ways that you can run the wizard again, and I'll show that in a little bit. I'm going to be using the 1300 three cell packs from Lumineer. These are older packs, 35C rated. They do recommend 60C rated battery packs for this quadcopter. Let's go ahead and plug this in. Let me just show you guys the receiver there. And there's no bind plug for this. So once that goes into bind mode, it's going to start flashing. And then you just bind it in the usual fashion with the DX18. There, there's the flashing light for binding it. And now I've pressed the bind button. And there it goes into bind mode. And that's it. Quadcopter is now bound to the DX18. And as I mentioned, if this is a brand new quad out of the box, it's going to automatically run the wizard. So we'll look at that next. And I did have to make a few adjustments to this radio for running the wizard. There were some small issues, but I will go over those as we run the wizard. The Vortex 250 setup wizard will run automatically the first time that you bind it out of the box. However, if you do need to run the wizard again, you can do that. And that is achieved by pressing this video transmitter button and holding it for about five seconds and waiting for the second beep. So if I push it, one beep, second beep there, let it go. Now it's back running the wizard again. So you can run it as many times as you need to if you know the wizard doesn't run correctly or say you give the quad to someone else and they wanna run the wizard. Very simple to do that. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and run the wizard. So I do have to restart it. So I'm gonna press that video transmitter button. One beep, wait for the second beep. Okay, there it is. So now we should be going into the wizard, detecting receiver, insert transmitter is on. So center all controls, very quick, very easy. Okay, move, roll, control, left and hold. So that's your aileron stick. And you notice the bar goes to the left there. When I first did that, the bar went to the right. So I had to reverse the aileron channel, move yaw control left and hold. And the same thing happened with the left stick. It was actually reversed. So I had to reverse that one too. The throttle was fine. There it goes down, return back to neutral. And pitch stick, so that's your elevator stick. That one was not reversed, it was fine. Return to neutral. And left stick back and left, so putting the left stick into the bottom left corner. And back to neutral. And then having the quad on a level surface, move the right stick back and hold. Return to neutral. And there it is, that's it. That's all there is to running the setup wizard. As I mentioned, I did need to make some adjustments to the radio in order to run the wizard successfully. So I'll show you that really quickly. First things, if we go into servo setup, you'll see that the throttle, aileron, elevator, and rudder are all at 125. Normally when you set up a model, everything's gonna be at 100, but at 100, not enough to move the wizard far enough to progress. So I did have to adjust these all up to 125. And the other thing was, as I mentioned, I had to do some channel reversing with the aileron and the rudder. Clearly they were moving the wizard the wrong way. Um, so pretty obvious. So if you're running the wizard and you notice that it's not progressing because the stick isn't moving far enough or the 
uh, stick indicator is moving in the wrong direction, you just may need to adjust those on your transmitter. Other than that, it ran smoothly. Everything is ready to go. Just need to put the props on the quad and fly it. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Any questions or comments, please post below, and I'll see you next time.